Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we will solve one more problem regarding RFA. Mr. X, an employee of PQR Limited in Chennai. So, Chennai is a place where the population is more than 25 lakhs. Draws 2 lakh per annum annual salary, that is basic salary, and 10,000 as GNS allowance has been provided with an accommodation. So, they are even providing an accommodation for which employer pays an annual rent of 60,000. So, annual rent he is paying 60,000 for that accommodation property and 3,000 towards the higher charges for per furniture. So, they have not purchased the furniture, they have hired it. So, where monthly they are pay, sought monthly, so annually it is, they are paying 3,000 rupees uh, charges towards that. So, Mr. X pays 4,000 per annum as a rent for accommodation. So, from the employee salary, Mr. X is an employee here. From his salary, they are deducting 40,000, sorry, 4,000 rupees per annum. Per annum, they are deducting 4,000 rupees. So, that has to be deducted. Compute the taxable value of accommodation. So, you know, you should write name of the SSC previous year, assessment year. Then place of work is Chennai and is a non-government employee. Okay, now we have three columns you have to take, particulars, amount and amount column. So first you have to compare 15% of salary with the rent paid. So for that I have to first calculate the salary. As I have told already that for the purpose of calculating RFA, salary includes everything except PF. So salary is equal to basic salary plus bonus share plus DA, DA is DNS allowance plus commission plus entertainment allowance so everything they have told so if you just check the question they have straight away given that uh, PQR limited Chennai he draws 2 lakh per annum salary and 10,000 as DNS allowance but DNS allowance they have not told that whether it will enter into retirement benefits or not so since it doesn't enter into retirement benefit we don't consider that. So basic salary is 2 lakh rupees plus bonus is not there plus DA is 0 plus commission is 0 plus entertainment allowance is 0. So the total salary will be 2 lakh rupees. Why we are not considering DA because it, they have not told that it is entering into retirement benefits. If it doesn't enter into retirement benefits we don't consider that. So our salary is 2 lakh rupees. So 15% of the salary, 2 lakh into 15% is 30,000. The rent paid we have to calculate. So in question told, they have told that they are paying an annual rent. Means for one year they are paying 60,000. So I will write that 60,000 here. Whichever is lesser, 30,000 is lesser. So 30,000 will be the taxable value. For that, any furniture they have purchased, they have not purchased any furniture. So, original cost of furniture will be nil. But they have hired the furniture. So, where they are paying 3000 rupees towards the higher charges. So, 3000 rupees they are paying towards the higher charges. So, we have to add that hiring charges 3000 rupees. Minus any amount are they deducting from the employee salary? Yes, 4000 per annum they are deducting it. 4000 per annum they are deducting. So, that has to be subtracted. So, 30,000 plus 3,000 minus 4,000 will give you the answer 29,000. So, this is the taxable value of accommodation at concessional rate because employee is also paying certain amount. So, completely free accommodation is not provided. So, at concessional rate, the accommodation is provided for the employee. This is how we need to solve the RFA. In my next further videos, I'll come back with problems related to HRA, house rent allowances. So let us meet in the next video.